seen those delicious red strawberries showing up at farmers markets. And when we're talking strawberries, there's no better place to be than in Stillwell, Oklahoma. Joining me today is Bobby Doyle, who has been farming strawberries just outside of Stillwell for quite some time. Bobby, tell me a little bit about the history of strawberry production here outside of Stillwell. The strawberry production uh, really started in 1947. The first strawberry festival was held in 1947. There was lots of production and sold to Stillwell Cannon Company who packed uh, lots of strawberries in 50 pound containers. The fresh market strawberry production was started mostly in uh, mid 50s. I started growing strawberries in 1957 and I've been growing them ever since. So you've learned a lot over those years. Tell me a little bit about your process of growing strawberries. I established my strawberries in what we call a matted row production and I grew strawberries that way until 2002. In 2002, I, I started transferring over to uh, plasticulture. These berries are established and destroyed every year. They are set in September. And what we try to accomplish in uh, between September and November is we try to establish a plant and get seven crowns on that plant. And each crown will produce probably from two to five berry pods, which will have from two to seven berries. So each one of those berry plants in the run of a, a season will produce a quart of berries. Wow. Well, you definitely have learned what you're doing here. It seems like there's beautiful berries all over. Um, tell me a little bit about now that you're into picking season, how often do you have to pick? Uh, it really depends on the temperature and the amount of sunshine. If we get 70, 75 degree temperature, and sunshine, these berries will ripen and be ready to pick every third day. There's eight tenths of an acre in this patch right here. It will produce probably close to 500 flats, eight quart flats of berries in a picking season. How was this winter on the strawberries? Did you see any damage from them? The winter is protected by this cloth that you see laying out here. That cloth is spread over these plants and weighted down with this chert rock and they're kept protected down to 18 degrees. Other than that, you're, you're not gonna get as much production because you're gonna lose some of them uh, berry pods. Mm -hmm. and, and how is the harvest going for you this season? Great. Uh, labor problem is the biggest problem that we have today. Uh, market, the market is booming. So obviously strawberries have been grown here in Stillwell for a long time. What makes this area so ripe for strawberry production? You've heard this country right here called Flint Rock Country. No such thing. Uh, there's very little flint in Adair Care County, Oklahoma. Most of it is chert rock and that chert breaks down easily and the mineral from that chert rock is taken up by these berries and gives them a unique flavor that can't be found anywhere else in, in uh, 
the United States. Uh, Round Mountain, Mexico, uh, Ball Knob, Arkansas, uh, Florida, California, all of those berries that are shipped in here can't match the flavor. And therefore, uh, Stillwell Berry is, is in high demand. Well, I'd have to agree with you. They are definitely the sweetest and juiciest strawberries that I've had. Thank you so much, Bobby, for sharing your strawberries with us and the history about the strawberry production here in Adair County. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.